Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about FIFO. So let's start. FIFO stands for first in first out. The thing that comes first will go out first. You input one element and when you request an element, the first one that is entered will be given to you. So in this FIFO functional block, we feed some uh, elements and when we request an element, the first one we have feeded will be entered. So, we will move to Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic where we will feed some elements and use P4 to request an element that we have entered first. So, I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection inactive and write protection inactive as well. Rather, we can put both the protections active and we need to set a password here. So then, while uploading, downloading and modifying, we need to present that password. So for now, let's keep these two protections as inactive and then we will click on apply. And then, we will go to configuration tab where we can configure our logic controller. For now, I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. And I will click on yes. So in this way, I have configured my logic controller. So then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram and use functional block P4. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert P, normally open contacts and then I will address these one by one. The first one will be I0.0 .0, and then the second one will be I0.1 and the third one will be I0.2. And then I will insert this functional block P4 L4 here and then I can change the type as P4 L4. So for now, we will use P4. And then I will insert nor, uh, these coils. So for the first one, I will give address to it as Q0.0. .0, and then I will assign address to the second one as Q0.0. .0. And now we will exit full screen mode. And then we will go to commissioning and sim uh, launch simulator. And then after launching the simulator, we will also start the controller. And yes. And now we will go back to the programming tab. So now we need to feed some elements. For that, I will go to tools and then animation, right click on it and then add new animation table. So for inputs, I will write as percent %r0, that is the same thing written here and then dot i. This is the input for input and then O for output and then we need to feed some elements to it so then the first element we will feed will be given at first so I will click on it and feed an element for example I will feed it as 10 then enter and then I need to toggle I0.1 on and then off so in this way you can see here Q0.0 .0 was on before and it gets off. And then I will feed two, three more elements here. And then the second element I will feed is. So you need to remember the first one. We have entered 10 as a first feed. So I will give another that is 20 and then enter and then again toggle I0.1 on and off. And then I will give another element that is 30, enter, and then I will again toggle I0.1 on and then off. So in this way, these are being faded. And then I will give one more feed here, one more element. So I will give it as 40. 
enter and then toggle again i0.1 on and then off so here for the first input we have given that input should that output should be given at first so for that i will turn on i0.2 and you can see here the first one comes out so the first element i have feeded here was 10 and well when i when i turned on i0.2 the first element that uh, it shows is that element i have given it before 10 and then again i will make it off then on then it gives 20 and then off then it gives 30 and then again off and then on and it gives 40 so in this way p4 was implemented first in first out the element which uh, which was uh, feeded in it first comes out first and then at the second place the element that was entered into it that was an input and and it comes at the second place and the element that was feeded at third place comes out at third place so it was all about p4 thank you for watching